light on the iron new Sodor. All the engines were at the shed, and it was nearly becoming Halloween. And all the engines wanted to tell their story while they were riding. Hmm, I wonder what we're going to tell. Oh, Louie, you silly. We're going to tell a ghost story. I know that, but who's going to tell it? I don't think I have any good story. I don't think I have any good stories. Yeah, I don't think I really have any good spooky stories either. How about we have one with lots of blood? That won't make us scary. It'll make us all sick, said Rusty crossly. I've got one. All the engines stared at Dunk. What on earth is so special about you telling us? Asked Sir Handel. Hmm, said Louis. I'm actually quite curious to hear this story. Since nobody has a good story, I guess you better take it away, Duncan. Okay. <clears throat> Long ago, there was an imp. I don't know what his name was, nor what he looked like. Some say that he, he had, he didn't have a happy face to He usually worked at the party because people said his behavior was too dangerous. Who is this thing? I told you, I don't know what his name was, nor what he looked like. But, what I do know, that his eyes were glowing red. Some say that he was, he, he was disturbingly unusual. He would purposely push the truck off a cliff and roll over animals that strayed onto the line. The manager was very distraught by his actions, and he would never be let out again. And some say that he was created by none other than the devil. Then, on one fateful night, it happened. Uh, he killed himself? No! No one knows exactly how it happened, how it happened, or the fire. The engine built to the ground, but in the fire, they could see two blazing, angry eyes. And then, it was destroyed. And then, the spirit and the And it was not friendly like the Oh no. So wherever you might be, someone may always be watching. That is the end of the story. All the engines were in deep shock. Wow, that's a that's the scary story. That's her handle. But wait, isn't that a copy of my story? So it's a fake story, said Peter, Sam, and Rusty. It's a ghost story. It could be true or false. You'll decide. Now, if you do not mind, I am going to sleep. Duncan then backed into the shed and went to sleep. As he did, all the engines were worried. They didn't know if the eyes were real or 